Hi everyone, welcome to 5 Minutes with Mark, a regular feature in which I show you a tip or trick in 5 minutes or less to dramatically increase your WordPress workflow efficiency. Today I want to show you how you can use plugins from the WordPress repository as a local only plugin from within Desktop Server's Design Time plugin architecture. Why you'd want to use this is in cases like, for instance, image optimization and things like that when you're doing your development work, but you don't really want it on the live site. Rather than installing it manually in the dashboard and then sending it up to the live site and removing it or removing it before you send it up to the live site, this stays in the design time plugins directory so that when you send it up to the live site, it does not go with it. I'm going to show you how that works really quick. In this particular case, I am going to use an image optimization plugin. Uh, many people like the Smush plugin. So as you can see, here I have Smush uh, already up on my WordPress repository. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. Now, here's an important thing. Make sure that desktop server is not running right now. You want desktop server, all its services stopped, and you want it not running at the moment. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this and save it to a directory. And now you'll see that I have it right here. And I'm going to take this, and I, if, the way that I work, and you can do it however you want, um, I'm just going to uh, cut it, and then I'm going to put it in uh, on a Windows system. It's exam C colon backslash exam light backslash DS plugins. On a Mac system, it is applications slash exam slash DS plugins. So basically, you're going to go to your DS plugins directory. Now I'm going to just paste it here. And then I'm going to, I use 7-zip, but you can use Windows native uh, unzip process if you want. And I'm going to extract it right here. And now, as you can see, I've got my plugin right here, WP Smush It, and it's in my D uh, DS plugins directory. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the original zip file. Now I'm going to start up desktop server. And you'll see that I now have Smush as a potential developer plugin that I can run when I start desktop server. So I'm gonna, I, I went ahead and checked it and I'm gonna click next and it's gonna start my web and database services and get everything going for me. And now that we're done, I'm gonna go to my local host page and you'll see that I already have a site that I've created here called dsplugins.dev.cc. So I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Of course, I will always talk about the bypass login, which is a design time plugin that works only locally, as all the design time plugins do. And now that I'm in the back end, first of all, the thing I'm going to show you is if I go to my plugins, you'll see that Smush is not listed in the regular plugins because I did not add it as my in my dashboard. It's running as a design time plugin. So you have your standard Hello Dolly and Akismet, but you see I have Smush right here because it's running as a design time plugin. What's nice about this is this will work on all your local sites. So you can create 10 sites right now and, this, and Smush will be a part of it automatically. And then when you ship it live, it doesn't go with it. So what I would say is you can use many, many WordPress uh, plugins. And there are a lot of cases where you'd only want to run it locally, but not on the live site. So go ahead, experiment, download them, throw them in there like I just did. Be sure that you aren't running desktop server when you start it. And, uh, and, and then download it, unzip it give it a shot, see how it goes. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below uh, how you use it, if you use it, and uh, what you found has worked and hasn't worked. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you learned something new. Thanks and have a great day.